गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर दिस इज ए शॉर्ट बिल एंड द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस लेजिस्लेशन इज ब्रीफली एज फॉलोज द हाउस इज अवेयर दैट इन द ऑटम सेशन ऑफ पार्लियामेंट लास्ट ईयर एन अमेंडमेंट वॉज मेड टू आवर लॉ रिलेटिंग टू पेटेंट्स बाय इंसर्टिंग ए न्यू प्रोविजन नेमली सेक्शन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू द इंडियन पेटेंट्स एंड डिजाइंस एक्ट टू थाउजेंड वन विद ए व्यू to empowering the controller of patents and designs to grant liberal working licenses to the interested parties in respect of patents for food medicines surgical or curative devices at any time after a patent has been granted on terms and conditions to be determined by him on that occasion sir some members were anxious to know the action taken by the government on the recommendations of the patents inquiry committee I have just introduced a comprehensive patents bill which incorporates most of the important recommendations of the committee sir the house would appreciate that it would take some time for the comprehensive bill which involves a complete overhaul of the present legislation perhaps and may necessitate a motion for reference to a joint select committee to be passed by parliament in the meanwhile it has become necessary for us to make an amendment to section 23 of the act for the purpose of vesting the controller of patents and designs with powers to grant compulsory licenses for the manufacture of insecticides etc considering the vital part that agriculture plays in our economy it is most important that the manufacture of these insecticides etc on a large scale should be encouraged and that we should not allow any loophole in our legislation which can be exploited by the interested people it is for this purpose sir that it is proposed to take powers to enable the controller to issue licenses for these articles exactly in the same manner as for food medicines and surgical and curative devices sir clause 2 of the bill is intended to enlarge the scope of the existing section 23 of the indian patents and designs act 2001 so as to include insecticides germicides etc along with 
food and medicines clause 2 of the bill is intended to insert a new subsection namely subsection 4 in the existing section 23 to equip the government with the necessary powers by enabling them to notify the category of articles. The House will appreciate that it is impossible to draw up an exhaustive list of the articles for which it may be necessary for the controller to grant in future compulsory licenses so that articles are produced and made available to the public at lowest prices consistent with the patentee deriving a reasonable advantage from his rights under the patent. Sir, the amendment of which notice has been given by my senior colleague actually seeks only to clarify some ambiguities in the bill. As I pointed out last year, in some countries such as Japan and Germany, articles like food, medicines and curative devices have been kept outside the scope of the patents law. We, sir, however, have no intention to prohibit the grant of patents to inventions in the field of food, medicines, insecticides, germicides, etc. Indeed, we want our scientists and technical men to play their part and to invent more and more in these fields. At the same time, sir, I hope that all sections of the house will agree with me that where patents for these articles are secured, it should not be allowed to be exploited to the detriment of the national interests. It may be asked that the powers sought to be taken under subsection are too sweeping in nature and are likely to discourage our inventors from taking out patents for their inventions because they may fear that government may take away all the fruits of their inventions by the issue of notifications such as are mentioned in the subsection. I may, however, assure the House that such apprehensions are absolutely unfounded. Provisions has been made in the bill that before a notification directing the issue of a license can be issued, the central government must apply its mind and satisfy itself that it is expedient or necessary in the public interest that a license under the patent should be granted. Even after a notification has been issued, the controller has to satisfy himself that the article should be available to the public cheaply and that the patentee is assured of a reasonable return for his patent. In other words, sir, while we are anxious that the articles in respect of which special powers have been 
taken should be made available to the public at reasonable rates we are also equally solicitous of the interests of the inventor and have made a specific provision that in settling the terms of the license the controller must ensure that the inventors do not feel neglected on the other hand it is necessary that a reasonable compensation is made to them for inventions